Good morning, Patriots. Today is Friday, November 9th. And you are turning into Patriot Press News. Castro. And I'm Daniela Vargas. And this is your morning's announcement. Wrestling has started after school. If any preachers are interested, remember that a physical form must be completed to participate. Any questions, see Coach Moreno. Interact Club is doing a bonding day today after school until 4.30, making blankets in Washington 103. Come and bond with your club member or feel free to join our club. Tomorrow, your six HHS robotics teams have their first competition here at Heritage in the gym. Three of our teams compete in the morning starting at 9 a.m. and our other three teams compete in the afternoon at 3 p.m. Come cheer on your teams. Next week, Heritage High School is celebrating National French Week. Make sure to visit the French Club's tent in the quad during your lunch to participate in fun French festivities Get all to get you all in the spirit. Every day is a themed address day. Let's hear a word from your French Club. Express your French. Wear stripes. Wear turtlenecks and berets. Wear French club t-shirts. A Heritage High Dance team presents Celebrating 12 Years of Dance, an alumni show featuring dancers from classes 2010 through 2018. Alumni have been invited back to share with us how they have kept dance in their lives after high school. The show is Friday, November 30th at 7 p.m. in the Heritage Theater. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Tickets are $8. Heritage, some of you may have noticed that Avid has started their Thanksgiving food drive. Now is our chance to give back to the community by dropping off non-perishable items to be donated. Some of the items that are always in need are instant mashed potatoes, packets of gravy, canned goods, box stuffing, cake mixes, rice, beans, and many more. Drop off any of your drop it off in any of your avid classrooms. One last one last reminder, Patriots. Monday is Veterans Day. So as you pay your tributes, remember to pay those tributes, not at school, because we are off on Monday. Have a great weekend, Patriots, and stay tuned for our counselor's corner. Hello, I am Natalie Navarro for this week's counselor corner. I often see students for various issues, but what I've been seeing a lot of is students coming in for grief and loss. Grief is a natural response to loss. It's the emotional and physical suffering you feel when something or someone you love is taken away. The more significant the loss, the more intense your grief will be. You may associate grieving with the death of a loved one, which is the most intense type of grief, but any loss can cause grief, including divorce, a recent breakup, or loss of a friendship. Emotionally, you may go through different emotions, and that could include shock, sadness, guilt, anger, or even fear. Symptoms of grief can also be physical, like fatigue, aches, pains, stomach issues, weight loss, weight gain, or insomnia. The pain of grief can often cause you to want to withdraw from others. But having the face-to-face -face support from other people is vital to healing. Even if you don't feel comfortable talking about your emotions, it's important to express your feelings in a healthy and positive way to get out that pain. 